वेलकम टू एन एम ई आई सी टी साक्षत ई कंटेंट प्रोजेक्ट अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एच आर डी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज ऑफ मार्केटिंग मैनेजमेंट द प्रोजेक्ट इज अंडर एन एम ई आई सी टी दैट इज नेशनल मिशन ऑन एजुकेशन थ्रू इंफॉर्मेशन एंड कम्युनिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजी अंडर दिस मिशन अ प्रोपर बैलेंस बिटवीन कंटेंट जनरेशन research in critical areas relating to imparting of education and connectivity for integrating our knowledge with the advancement in other countries is to be attempted in order to bolster our knowledge resources to obtain and maintaining the competitive edge in the world we require a system of identification and nurturing of talent and lifelong learning knowledge modules based on personalized needs of the learner would need to be delivered to him or her at the right time with the right content interactively to take care of his or her aspirations with these objectives in mind these videos are created for the portal saksham we will learn basic marketing over here Hi, I am LL means learner. I am learner of marketing management. I learn marketing in master's class. The desire for learning marketing comes out of interest. This is very interesting topic. Marketing management is seen everywhere in the society. You see up or down, you see here and there, you can see brand names and logos and advertisements and people working in marketing area. I am very much interested in learning marketing. Let us learn marketing from Dr. J. Bedayani. He is going to teach marketing management under Sikshat E Content Development Project under National Mission on Education through Information and Communication Technology that means in M E I C T. Let us start learning. Good morning to all. Today we are going to learn consumer adoption process hello and welcome to sakshat e content on marketing management today we are going to learn consumer adoption process adoption is an individual's decision to become a regular user of a product which may be an innovation in form of a good service or an idea the consumer adoption process is a kind of consumer loyalty process if you look to stages in consumer adoption process there are basically five stages number 1 awareness that is what is individuals first learn about the new product but they lack full information about it second interest potential buyers seek information about it third evaluation they consider the likely benefit of the product four trial they make trial purchases determine its usefulness and fifth adoption or rejection that means if the trial purchase product produces satisfactory results they decide to use the product regularly if we look to diffusion process adoption process is often termed as diffusion process by which new goods or services are accepted in the marketplace when launching a new product it becomes important to take into consideration as to how the market will develop how the typical development of the market from the launch of the product to its maturity Researchers classify the consumers buying into five categories that is innovators early adopters early majority late majority and laggards well innovators normally form first 2.5 percentage of the total buyers early adopters 13.5 percentage early majority 34 percentage late majority 34 percentage while laggards form 16 percentage 
well innovators if we understand that category the adoption process begin with a tiny number of visionary imaginative innovators they often lavish great time energy and creativity on developing new ideas and gadgets they love to talk about them early adopters if we look to that category once the benefits start to become apparent early adopters leap in they are on the outlook for a strategic leap forward in their lives or businesses and are quick to make connections between clever innovations and their potential needs early majority assuming the product or behavior leaps the charts it may eventually reach majority audiences early majorities are pragmatists comfortable with moderately progressive ideas but won't act without solid proof of benefits they are followers who are influenced by mainstream fashions and very of fads late majority they are conservative pragmatists who hate risk and are uncomfortable with new ideas practically their only drive is to is the fear of not fitting in hence they will follow mainstream fashions and established standards they are often influenced by the fears and opinions of legards and the last legards there are people who see a high risk in adopting a particular product or behavior and they become the least adopter i mean to this say the last adoption category they are known as legards there are several risk involved in the purchase of a new product the more risk involved with a product purchase the slower the adoption process several types of risk are number 1 financial risk the monetary loss that would result from a wrong decision second performance risk the chance that the product or service would not meet the consumer's expectations number 3 physical risk any mental or physical harm that would occur and four social risk the possibility that the product would not meet approval of one's peer there are several characteristics of a new product or service which also influence its speed of adoption number 1 relative advantage the greater the perceived added value offered by the product the quicker it will be adopted second compatibility if the product does not disrupt the consumer's current practices and processes it will be taken up more quickly third complexity adoption will be facilitated facilitated if it is easy to understand and use divisibility it helps if the customers can sample or trial the product before purchase next is risk the greater the economic or social risk attached to failure the more reluctant the buyers will be in buying it next is communicability adoption is facilitated when the products advantages are easy to show in the adoption process consumers go through a series of stages from first learning about the new product to trying it and deciding whether to purchase it regularly or reject it the consumer adoption process is influenced by consumer characteristics such as personality traits and demographic or socio economic factors the characteristics of the new product such as its relative advantage and complexity and social influences such as opinion leaders diffusion and adoption process models supplement product life cycle they track the sales experience of the new product over time the product life cycle strategies can be uh, are, are formed or can be formed by evaluating the adoption process well this was a talk about consumer adoption process where we talked about definition and stages in adoption process 
and then diffusion process and categories in diffusion process like innovators, early adopters, early majority, late majority and laggards. We have also understood several risks involved in the purchase of a new product and out of that there are several characteristics of a new product or service which also influence the speed of adoption. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the class and watching. I have learned a lot. Did you? Have a good day from the learner.